Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to run UFT tests from Octane. And here's my UFT script. Let's uh, first see if it runs directly from UFT. In the background you can see my application under test and I just did create a UFT test which simply does some clicks here. It selects speakers and clicks through some speakers and then it's also going to select some tablets and clicks through some tablets. Um, it doesn't matter what it's actually doing, I just want to show you in an example script and how you can run it from Octane. This is the detailed result. Let's close it. So what you need to do is to save this to a Git repository. So I'm doing first a commit, a commit to my local repository. And then I am doing also a push, pushing to my remote repository. Octane is connected to this remote repository. You see my Octane here. And by this connection, it will automatically find any new script that I've created. Or any script, by the way, that is already in there. So let me filter for UFT. I see all my UFT scripts. Also the, the, the last one, the test navigation is the one I've just committed and pushed to my remote repository. And it didn't run yet, so um, I'm going to create a test suite now. Wanna add this script to the suite, maybe also another one, and then let the suite run directly from Octane. I adding the tests, here you see my three automated tests. I already have my UFT tests, and let's add all the three and in those. So I've got now a test suite with my, some UFT tests, those three ones, and I just select run and that's it. Now the scripts are running. You see, uh, not on this machine, this is my Linux machine. I have another one uh, for my UFT. I have a Windows machine. Let's switch here. This is my Windows machine with my UFT installation. And you see UFT was already started and it did open a browser and now is running my test or actually all three tests. What's happening in the background? How did this work? In the background Octane did create a Jenkins job for me. So I do not need to have any clue about Jenkins. It just need to be connected to Jenkins somehow. So someone needs to configure this once. And once this is set up and running, I just all I do is directly from Octane select the tests I want, click run, and the tests are running. So back on my Windows client machine, you see that there are some tests running. Um, and this one, you remember, this is the script I've just committed and pushed to the remote repository and added to the test suite together with the other two scripts. So this is also running fine. Let's go back to Octane. I want to see the test results there. So this is the tests. Uh, here I see this UFT test. It seems to be still running. It's yellow. Um, maybe it, it's... Yeah, now it's green. Yeah, perfect. I want to go to my suite. Therefore, I need to filter. Let me see. Uh, I want to see my suite. Um, there are, of course, other ways to find it, but uh, yeah, I'm just filtering for test suites so that I also see some test suites here. This is the one I've created. And let's go there and have a look at the suite runs. There was one run, okay, and it bit passed. This was the run which is started and you've just seen. So in the detailed report, you see all the scripts that have been executed. So these three and with all validation steps, etc., etc. if there are any validation steps. And you see all the runs. So each of those tests do also have their own run. So each UFT test get a run and you see all the details for the run and can also view the UFT detailed result report with all these screenshots and steps and etc. So as you're used to from UFT, you see in this step it clicked here. Um, yeah, so actually the tester doesn't need to know anything about Jenkins. I can close it. 
um, it was just to show you how this works in the background, but uh, usually testers just work in Octane and can select their tests and put them in a suite, press run, and then they get a run, and that's it. But you need, to, of course, to set this up. This only needs to be done one time. By an administrator, you can uh, define um, where to find this Git repository and also need to tell Jenkins where Octane is located. So maybe start with Jenkins. I go to the configure system. If you have installed this application automation tools plugin, which is a prerequisite, so you need this, that you should have here something with Octane CI. Where is it? Octane CI. There it is. Then you got um, some client ID and secret and your Octane URL. The Octane URL is your usually Octane URL, client ID and client secret is something you get from the API definition in Octane. So on isolated, on your uh, shared space level, isolated or shared space level, you can define API accesses, which are somehow credentials for your API. So you can select a certain role, should be CICD in this case, and then generate a new API access. And this will show you client ID and secret. Just copy paste it in here. And then the Jenkins server will connect to Octane and you will see it here under CI servers. So this is Jenkins CI. You see the Jen on the, the first line, Jenkins CI is the connection I've just defined. Now we want to specify where the Git repository is. Uh, not here. It's for the source code management. It's for the, yeah, where the actual source code is. I want to specify the Git repository for the test tool. It's defined in here under test tools. Could be a Git SDN also, by the way, subversion. So if you want to save your UFT tests in subversion, also fine. Just uh, provide the URL to your Git. Could also be GitHub, by the way. And then you're done. So let's go back. Um, by doing so, Octane will connect to Git and then search the whole repository detect automatically all UFT tests in the repository and then you can add them to a suite. Just press run and you get all these results directly in Octane. You can open the UFT detailed results directly from within Octane without having to go to Jenkins.